Hello everyone, it's Connie from Faf Designs. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new here, I'm a furniture painter and I'm also a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. If you're not new here, you already know that because I say it every time. Um, anyway, inspiration can hit us in the most unusual of places, even B&M bargains. So this piece caught my eye on the shelf of B&M bargains. I quite like the pattern and I thought I'm gonna have a go on that on furniture. This piece was found on the side of the road by my mum and I've kind of given it a new lease of life. I hope I have anyway. So stay tuned to find out how I did it. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. First things first, I am going to take the original handles off. They're quite nice but they were a little bit dirty. So I removed them and I'm gonna set those aside and I'll clean them up later. Once I'd got all those handles off, I'm gonna give it a good clean with Dixie Bell's White Lightning. So this is a granulated product. I've added some to the bucket with warm water and I'm just giving it a really good scrub all over with a microfiber cloth. Then when I had scrubbed all over, I rinsed it off with clean warm water just to make sure there's no product left on the surface. Fast forward a little bit, the piece is completely dry and I've spied me some nice wood grain underneath that orangey varnish. So I'm using my Festool sander with a 120 grit paper on it and I'm just going to take that varnish off and sand it back to bare wood. So my initial idea for this piece was to have a kind of two-tone effect with a little bit of the wood grain, original wood grain on the drawers as a feature and then the rest of it I was going to paint in a silk colour but I changed my mind as the piece evolved, I changed my mind, which often happens. Um, so I'll talk you through that process in a short while. So as well as making sure that the sander is really nice and flat to make sure that the paint wash is nice and even, I'm also going to sand the top lip of my drawer just so that I can do the paint wash on that as well. And it just kind of looks cohesive and um, you know, it just kind of adds a little bit of detail. So here is my paint wash. I'm using the color Baja Grey from Silk Mineral Paint. So that's the silk range of paint from Dixie Bell. And all a paint wash is, is when you dilute your paint down to give you a thinner consistency and it doesn't give you as full coverage. So the idea here is that I'm gonna take that yellow tone out of the wood. If you use grey as a paint wash, it kind of neutralizes that yellow tone and gives you a nice kind of pale wood effect, which is um, bang on trend at the moment, obviously on, you know, height of trend, trendsetter. Um, so I'm just making sure that the paint wash has gone on nice and evenly. I'm using a flat large synthetic brush from Dixie Bell just so that it covers super quick. Um, with a paint wash, you kind of want it to soak into the grain of the wood a little bit. So I'm just making sure that it's really nice and even. And also, I'm just going to allow it to soak into the wood partially. Um, not completely dry, because as you can see, even though I've watered down the paint, it is still really, really good coverage. That's the beauty of Dixie Bowl paint. It's really highly pigmented, so it covers really well, even when you have added water to it. So all I'm doing is grabbing a dry paper towel, and oh, there's a dog, and removing the excess paint wash that I've applied. So this has not been left to dry for very long at all, maybe a minute or so. Um, I just want to make sure that it's soaked into the wood enough to take a hint of that colour but still allows me to see the wood grain coming through. Mm -hmm. 
All three drawers had the same colour wash treatment and then I scuff sanded the rest of the piece in preparation for me painting it in silk. Obviously this idea changed further down the line but I just thought I'd show you the process that I went through with the initial idea that I had. Um, so originally I was going to paint this in cactus from the silk line but as my piece evolved and I started to do the hand painting on the front I just realised that that wasn't going to be the right look for this piece. Okay, so the three drawers I've had the colour wash on, you can see it's changed the tone of the wood completely. It's lost that yellowy tone and it's now got a much softer um, sort of bleached effect, if you like, from the grey paint wash. And you mentioned, I know you noticed I mentioned that I did this in silk all in one mineral paint. You can dilute silk all in one mineral paint down, but when you do that, what happens is you break down the components of the paint. So silk has a built in top coat, but obviously when it is diluted down as much as I did um, to be used as a colour wash, that is no longer effective, the built in top coat. So I am top coating over my colour wash with clear coat flat. Um, I'm doing this for two reasons. The first reason, like I've just mentioned, is because the built-in top coat is no longer effective because I diluted it down. The second reason is because I'm going to be doing a hand-painted design on the front of this. And if I make any errors, I know that I'll be able to rub it out with a damp cloth. And if I've sealed that paint wash in, it's not going to affect the paint wash underneath. The clear coat has dried and now for the exciting part. So I'm tracing out a line um, of the pattern that I am going to paint shortly with chalk. So I'm using chalk for a couple of reasons. It's really easily erased if you make a mistake and I made plenty. And obviously I'm using chalk mineral paint to paint my pattern on the front and that has chalk content in it anyway. And also if I'd used say a pencil to draw my pattern um that would have been visible um and it's not so easily erased as chalk so chalk's a really good one to do if you are drawing a pattern on the front um like i am And now I'm going to take you on my journey of the hand painted aspect of this piece. So I started out hand painting the lines that I traced with chalk with Dixie Bell's drop cloth, which is from the chalk mineral paint range. And I watered this down so it was a bit thinner and I had a better flow on my brush. I know I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but trust me, I don't. I'm very, very rusty when it comes to hand painted stuff. I do have an art background, I did it at school, I went to art college and I also did a design based degree, um, but it, that was a long time ago. So I am basically, I feel like I'm starting from scratch um, and I've definitely never done anything like this on furniture before, which is completely apparent in my first attempt here, which I wasn't happy with. So I sanded that off and I went in with a much, much lighter hand in attempt to get a finer line. One of the things that I did find, and I apologise for the focus on this, you've got, a, the focus is on my hair, not on the actual piece, um, which is slightly annoying, but I didn't realise until after I recorded it. Um, so what I did realise quickly is that I didn't 
like painting on the piece with the draw upright so with the draw you know as it would be in the piece I took the drawer out and I laid it flat on the floor and I found that I had much more control over the paintbrush. I just didn't like doing it vertically. I preferred having the drawer flat. That's just how I found it was best to work. Yeah, there you go, the camera's focused a little bit now. Um, and that's just how I prefer to work, but that's not a rule of thumb that I, you know, I know lots of people that prefer to work with the drawers in the piece in situ. It's just that I had much more control over my paintbrush when it was flat on the floor. And it was at this point I changed my mind completely over the design of the rest of the piece. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, I was actually going to paint the rest of the drawers in cactus. But I just felt as I was hand painting the design on the front and it was kind of coming together, I just felt that that wouldn't have looked right. So the top had damage. Um, I tried to sand it out, but it just didn't want to sand out. The staining was too bad. And so I decided to paint the top. I masked off the line. Um, you can just see my big old thick masking tape there. And I'm using Endless Shore. Um, from the silk range so I'm still using silk paint I just felt that cactus wasn't the right color so I'm only going to paint the top because like I say it had damage couldn't be rescued um, and I just couldn't sand it out so the top is going to be painted in endless shore and the rest of it I decided was going to just have the same kind of color wash as the drawers I just thought that it would be a more cohesive design and it would let the feature be the hand painted design on the drawer fronts and that would stand out better. So when I painted the top in Endless Shore, I had to go back to the rest of the piece and sand that right back to bare wood so that it matched the drawer fronts um, as closely as possible. So originally, remember, I had only scuff sanded this, uh, the rest of the piece because I was originally gonna paint it in silk in the color cactus but now i'm doing a color wash that's why i'm taking the um, varnish completely off and i'm sanding it back to the bare wood underneath so we're going back to the color wash technique i am aware that we are kind of flitting from one thing to another on this video but that's kind of how this piece evolved for me so I'm just showing you the process in which my mind works, which isn't always a straight line. Um, so I decanted some of the Baja Grey into the pot and then added water and mixed it really, really well till you get an even consistency for your paint wash. And then you just apply the paint wash on. So I'm just making sure that I've got a nice crisp line where I've already painted the endless shore on the top of the piece. And you can see, obviously, it's going on quite grey, but when I remove the excess, you can see the wood grain through. I'm using a large flat synthetic brush from Dixie Bell. It's just going to get that paint wash down super quick without it drying out um, before I've had a chance to remove the excess and I'm working with the wood grain um, out of habit. I do that and that's just basically means it's gonna you know, soak in nice and evenly. And you'll notice that I'm working in um, small areas. Uh, so this is just gonna make sure that the paint hasn't dried uh, by the time I've managed to wipe the excess off. Before it's had a chance to dry, I'm gonna get the cloth and then wipe the excess off, which is gonna reveal the wood grain underneath. And you'll notice that that gray is just completely neutralizing that yellow toned wood and just giving it a really nice pale finish. If you wanted to try this look out yourself, but you don't have Baja Gray from the Silk Range, 
a really good um, similar colour to do this paint wash with in the chalk mineral paint range is driftwood. Fast forward a little bit and I've attached the original handles. These have actually had um, a spray coat base paint, base paint, base coat applied. And basically what happened is I did a live video on the Facebook, Dixie Bell Facebook page. And I was originally gonna give these a kind of bronzy look and mix a little bit of gold in there with it, but the color just was not right at all. So, what I thought I'd do is show you how to remove gilding wax if you've messed up. So the quicker you can remove gilding wax, the better because it is oil based, it does dry permanently. And um, what you need to do is grab some, oh, how do you do hemp oil or Big Mama's butter, something oil based, and that removes the gilding wax. So although I had put a little bit of bronze on here, um, instantly regretted it. I could tell the colour just wasn't right. Um, I was able to remove it with the How Do You Do Hemp Oil and then I've chosen to go in with Silver Gilding Wax instead, which I think works much better colour-wise with the rest of the piece. So I did seal the hand painted design with another coat of clear coat flat, should have mentioned that earlier but I didn't. A um, couple of close ups of the finished piece, you can see the top there that contrasts really nicely with the wash um, of paint and here is the final shot. I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out considering how rusty I am with my art skills. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, made a few mistakes along the way but managed to kind of overcome those and yeah quite enjoyed doing something different. So like I say if you've got any questions drop them in the comments below and make sure you are subscribing to my channel.